Tutorial 3, Amplitude Modulation. Starting to get a bit more interesting now. Um, I'm going to still do this all from scratch rather than ride off the back of the previous tutorials. Although you could quite literally just copy in uh, Tutorial 2's uh, code and just go from there. That will probably save you a lot of time. Uh, however, I'll try and keep it as independent as I can. So uh, I'll start from the beginning. Um, cool. Includes are uh, of OFX maxim header. Amplitude modulation largely is just, um, well, it is just modulating the volume of the signal. Um, you can do it in multiple sort of different ways. And when we get to envelopes, that's a type of am amplitude modulation. But for now, we'll just be using other waves to modulate uh, volumes or the, the, the amplitude of other waves. Sorry. Uh, so let's create our audio out method. Uh, we need a double array for outputs for our mixing. Uh, we will need buffer size and um, and sample rate. We will need. Uh, our frequencies, that's double. We'll also have a modulator speed, so modulation speed for our LFO, low frequency oscillator. Um, we will need um, our current sample, of course, for when we loop through the buffer. We will need um, two oscillators. Oscillators, sorry, I didn't uh, loud enough probably. Um, next loss. And modulator. Um, and a mixer. That looks fine to me. So moving on to the C file. Uh, let's get the setup stuff sorted. Sample notes. No. That's 60 hertz, and that's. No, that's not right. Uh, sorry. Sample rate. I was thinking of um, frame rate. Uh, sample rate equals 44,100 hertz. Um, Buffer size is 512. Um, set the background to black. Um, set the DAC. Zero for this sample rate buffer size and four buffers and initialize our frequency. Initialize our uh, mod speed. That's, I don't know, two, two for now, we will probably change that. Um, okay, cool. Let's make our uh, audio out thread.
Um, so let's loop through the buffer. Um, get our current sample. Okay, cool. So we've got our current sample, um, and we're assigning a soil wave of 440 hertz. And now I want to make the amplitude of this. Yeah, you know, I want to make the the size of this this value, this current sample, to be modulated by another wave. We're going to use a sine wave, um, and you do it by this. You just times it. So if I do modulator and then dot sine wave at mod speed, as simple as that. Um, let me just route it through the mixer. So mix dot stereo. It takes the input, which is our current sample. It takes the output, which is outputs, and 0.5 for equal mixing. Um, and then we route the outputs to outputs. And that's got to be plus one. So I'm right signal. Um, yeah. Okay. So that that's that's, that's cool. Um, and if I ran that, we'd hear the frequency being sort of coming, getting modulated. The the, the volume, the continuous tone would be dipping in and out at a consistent speed. But let's let's map the speed to. Um, Say the mouse, mouse, uh, so we can sort of see exactly what's happening there. So mod speed equals double typecast of map x zero of get width, and let's make the speed between. I don't know, 0 and 50. Cool. Uh, that should be good. Let's give it a while. Let's take a little while to compile. Ooh. An error. Good. What have we got? Yes, I did mean that. Thank you very much. Would have been nice to know earlier. Let's try that again. Hmm. Okay. So, doesn't know what the hell that is. So let's check out our header file. And what would you know? The spelling was wrong. Let's wait again. Aha, finally. Okay, so a bit of life. After a two minute wait. Or is it life? I'm not sure. Yes, there we go.
Very cool, as you can see. Pretty nice. Okay, so um, other things we can do is we can make a gator effect. Uh, we can do that by um, making the modulator a square wave. So why don't we do that? Uh, so square add one. And this will bring us into the correct range to get that gator effect. We have life once again. Pretty cool, okay? So remember my mouse was mapped to from to the mod speed and this time we're using a square wave so we're going to get a different modulation uh, for our amplitude it's going to be shaped more like a square on off on off on off rather than sort of a smooth transition with a sine wave which was what we had previously anyway I hope you enjoyed it um, be back next time for another tutorial uh, all the best